Okay, when we last left off, we hit the uh, population equilibrium as people were pretty much dying as fast as they were growing up. So, um, get going with your differential ana analysis of the uh, equilibrium and uh, let's play some Banished in the meantime. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have studied chemistry uh, long ago and uh, a few of those things kind of become second nature to you when you uh, when you do things it's kind of kind of impressive actually how you uh, keep going through nature even if it's long past and you you just view things different from uh, different than other people and I suppose that's uh, the same for pretty much every uh, scientist, every uh, graduate. But it's definitely worth it. Although I've noticed that, uh, especially when you work for the university, but also when you're dealing with um, the authorities and people who work for the authorities, like when you need some documents or whatever, that you end up questioning less and less. Uh, eventually the less sense it makes to you, the more you are convinced that it's going the way it's supposed to. And I'm not sure that's a good sign. I mean, by the time I graduated I was kind of jaded and uh, really unwilling to, <laughs> to question anything anymore uh, which is not what I would suppose uh, is the purpose of university then again I might be terribly wrong there and um, that might be exactly the purpose of the university but I really don't know We actually have a fair amount of uh, clothing. I think we also have some in the store here. Yeah, we have uh, 75 hide coats here. Gonna up that to 100. And we'll see what the next trader brings us. I am kind of excited to see what we will get. I'm also, I would also be excited if I got more children out of that here thing is we seem to only have very few uh, girls. I think the last few... Uh, oh no, Ramon is actually... Okay, I didn't know that it was a female name. I thought Ramon is more of a male name, so I was uh, about to say that we actually had like a lot of guys who uh, grow up but very little, very few girls. Which uh, kind of puts you into trouble when you try to... <laughs> uh, have children in town and have more children in town. Oh well, we're back to 12 families. So let's, uh, let's actually build some more houses. I think I can afford it. Let's check the production. Yeah, we, we produced more food than we used up. Although it's uh, kind of. Uh, kind of a balance. I mean, we only made ten. Or we only actually we used up more food than we produced. That is not good. I'm not sure I should keep going with that, but I really don't have a choice. I need more children. So uh, more houses it is. I'll keep going with wooden houses because they are easy to build and uh, I mean okay I'm, I need more firewood but wood is actually the one thing you have in infinite amounts okay well uh, we'll, we'll use one builder as usual one should completely do and then we'll see how things turn out I'll try not to build further in this direction, although I don't think the graveyard can actually burn down. I think the gra graveyard is one of the few buildings that 
never actually gets destroyed because it kind of has to save those graves. At least I never saw it burn, although what is supposed to burn in the graveyard anyway? <coughs> the only thing that might actually burn is uh, some sort of iron gate, but we don't have that here. I think we didn't use a single bit of metal for this uh, construction, so really nothing can burn here. And I think it's also uh, not affected by tornadoes, although I might just have hit a few lucky tornadoes there. I mean, they never went like straight through the town. I think the uh, last tornadoes I had in uh, my other game, which I'm using as a reference for most things here, uh, were actually going through those little forest uh, pockets, so I had to rebuild all that. <coughs> and in another game I had like one over here and one over here. There was no, no lake at this point, so uh, that was different. And um, yeah, it was it was kind of destructive. I mean, it killed a lot of people because I had housing pretty close to those areas. I had a market and all that stuff. And we will build a market here later. Right now, those barns are perfectly fine. I will place a market once we actually get further away like once we get into for example uh, farming in this area I might want to have a market there or maybe once we get over here because then the ways to the barn and to the uh, stockpile are too long to be uh, uh, to be counted and too long to make a productive uh, settlement out here Um, we will also drop some houses over here at some point. I don't know if farms can burn down. I would hope they can't. Then again, I suppose everything can burn. That's just the way things go in Banished. Okay, you have hit that, so... Uh, start tailoring. <coughs> How much leather do we have? Uh, save the game. Just do it. Okay, we have inventory. We have 12x, 24 leather. That is not exactly much, but it should do for now. I mean, we are still good on clothes. I'm mostly uh, building extra coats to uh, sell them. So they're kind of trading fodder, but it's it's fine. The production here is actually uh, skyrocketing. Then again, okay, we have pretty much doubled the amount of chickens we have. Actually, we have more than doubled it. I think we started with two, and uh, now we're at 14. Speak uh, talk about the bottleneck there uh, with our citizens. I don't want to look at those chickens. <laughs> I really don't. <coughs> Okay, maybe there are like wild chicken that eventually uh, grow into those and uh, maybe people bring their own chicken, I don't know. Let's just hope we get some nomads soon because I do want to get things done and um, right now we can, and I'm saying this carefully, right now I think we can afford more people. <coughs> The population is slowly recovering. Let's look at the graph here. Yeah, it's very slowly recovering. As I said in the uh, intro here, I'm we have hit the uh, equilibrium state, in which deaths and uh, births, or especially uh, deaths and the. Uh <coughs> Uh, graduations from school are evenly matched. So uh, our population does, or our working population effectively does not change in numbers. <coughs> and we just, I mean, we, we keep getting new people, but 
since people die at the same pace, we don't have a net change. And this is a bit troubling because I don't have a good way to get out of this. Also, I'm somewhat concerned that if this guy has lost all productivity, these guys might have as well. But no, those okay, those seem to be marginally smaller than uh, usually. I think we're usually at about 500 of these each as well. <coughs> Sorry about that. But it seems the uh, gatherers weren't affected that heavily. Also the foresters are kind of bored right now because they don't have anything to do. And we are now a bit in trouble because I don't have anyone to replace the gatherer. Let's just see how old my teacher is. He's 22, so that's fine. However, my builder might have to... Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh, apparently the Grim Reaper is having fun here. <coughs> Look at the graveyard slowly filling. Now, by the way, there are no ghosts or anything. It's not like towns or dwarf fortress, which... Uh, I think nicked the idea from uh, uh, what, what I ah one two three uh, Ordwar Fortress, which is what I suppose the uh, place that towns got the idea to have ghosts from, but to have the ghosts of heroes past haunt your place. Okay. We have a livestock murder and he is cattle. I kinda want cattle. Because it produces milk, it produces leather and it produces um, meat. But you see here it's expensive as hell. And we might be tempted to place uh, an order here next time because if he arrives next time and he doesn't bring sheep I might have him do that. I'll have to pay extra for the sheep, but it's it seems to be worth it in my opinion. Okay, let's make this a bit bigger. I don't want to build a bridge, I want to build a road. Uh, doesn't make much sense here, but I, I think I'll place it anyway. I also need my backup farms, I'll probably put them over here. We should only hold a few animals just as a, uh, well, as a backup, as I just said. <coughs> okay. This guy has cattle and I kind of want to buy some. Even though I am short on workers here, I do want those cattle. Um, I also want to actually pick the right icon here. Okay, this lines up. Actually, no, make that bigger. Only slightly, but make it bigger. Yeah, I won't put it over here. <coughs> okay, now to the cattle. I mean, I can't build right now because I'm uh, kinda out of people, but I want two of those. You can have 500 firewood. And I'm overpaying by a lot of units. Actually, if I give you... Uh, 600. I can buy three cows. So let's trade this. Trade. So now we have cattle. And what I'll do now is I'll probably suspend some of my foresters. 
and place them to work over here. So one will have to work as a builder and one will have to work as a woodcutter. Although, actually I don't think we'll need tailoring. So he will become a woodcutter. Shut the hell up. Sorry about that. Okay, did I dismiss the merchant? No, I didn't. So screw you, merchant. I think they all look the same here. So you can't really see which merchant is as he enters the map. But you will see uh, what merchant you have once he's at the uh, trading depot. Okay. Guys, I would like you to uh, focus on that. Oh, focus to uh, that a bit. Okay, please get to work here first. Yeah, this house doesn't have inhabitants. Let's see how we're doing. We have 9 families and 15 homes, so we should actually uh, not use that much food. I don't know why we're using that much. I don't like having to use that much. And I also have to cut the episode here, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!